Welcome back, everybody, to another episode of the Pure Iron Man series. This is going to be episode number three of season two, and we are looking to make some nice progress on the account. We're going to be looking to get some really nice upgrades. We've got a few rev kills, and we also get ourselves a lovely revenant weapon in this episode, so stay tuned for that. If you want to leave a like and subscribe to the channel if you haven't already, that would be excellent, and let me know with a comment down below on anything you'd like to see me do. Regarding to the last episode, we have decided to not use the wheel just for this episode. I uh, kind of just did whatever I wanted to do this week. And we just be going like that for a minute. And then once we start getting back properly into it, we're going to be doing the wheel again. So without further ado, let's jump on into the clips. So we decided to start off with some Corrupted Gauntlet. We're starting at 146 kill count. Like I said, we are looking to unlock our Bofa and we need to get some more Crystal Shards to be able to corrupt it as well. So we're also going to be making a ton of GP. You'll see the cash stack slowly build up as I do out all of the drops as they come through. At one point, I was on Ancient Magic, so I did swap back after that. But the kill count's coming in nicely. I actually still quite enjoy Corrupted Gauntlet and kind of getting a few kill counts. Like I said, at worst case, you're just making a ton of GP for the account, which will always come in handy for runes and all that all sort of other stuff. And even for doing crafting training. So yeah, we're heading on back into it and we are going to get ourselves uh, some diamonds, some rune arrows. Like I said, all the drops are pretty useful, to be honest. And we are able to use these things to be able to carry on progressing our account. Unfortunately, we didn't get much luck. We didn't even get a crystal armor seed, which we are really dry on. Oh, either way, we've only got one in 155 chests. So there's definitely some armor seeds due, I would imagine, and maybe even a corrupted. We got ourselves a lovely revs task to finish off. We just finished a little trip and we got 26 remaining. We got a Larenski as well, so the loop's not looking too bad. And there's all stuff we can use for the future at least. And there it is, the Thamoran Scepter. We've just got a lovely new unlock for the account. And I've got the Chain Mace and the Scepter. And I would be risking it currently. So it's time to get the hell out of here. I just randomly logged in and this guy was killing them. And we managed to snipe a Thamoran Scepter out of it. So that's absolutely lovely. We did go ahead and finish the task as well, which is nice. And it means we get some extra points for uh, future Slayer tasks at least. Got some more loot and we are going to be really enjoying that. We got ourselves a couple of battle staffs, nothing too crazy. Uh, the Scepter though is a really, really, really nice unlock for the account and it means we are able to kill the bosses a little bit easier and the wieldy as well. So we need to get ourselves a lot of ether. And we end up with another Revenant's task, two tasks later, straight after the bat. To get in the scepter i decided i wanted to try it out a little bit obviously as you get any new exciting item the first thing you want to do is try it out so i'm going to try and kill some rto rto is actually one of the bosses that i've been struggling with because i only have a crystal bow to kill it and now they've recently changed it where it actually uses you can actually use magic to kill it so all i've got to literally do is freeze it keep it back and we should be all right so this is kind of like the first kill that i did with it and you can see i was struggling with the crystal bow to even get many hits i had to use prayer the whole time after the first kill or so i did actually realize that using ancient magics all the time would be actually stronger uh but for the first kill that i did this is it so we're hitting some really really nice hits as well and the reason i want to do rto is number one if i get the pet that would be absolutely awesome because that pet's also really cool but the Claws of Callisto will upgrade our Vigorous Chain Mace and that will make it uh, have even more strength bonus and it makes it just a lot better. It makes it really easy to escape from at revs and a lot of other useful stuff comes with that as well. But you do need 70 attack for that, but that is part of the plan in the future. Anyway, once I start getting a higher level, I will want to go to like raids and stuff. And it's just not worth it having 60 attack on an Iron Man. Like no one really cares what combat level you are. But it would be nice to get some of the wilderness stuff done a little bit earlier. Just so that I am a lower combat level and I am able to not get PK'd as much. So yeah, that was a pretty successful kill in my eyes. I really did enjoy using the uh, staff and we will get ourselves up to 20 kill count just so I can look through and not have to hop every single time basically. Whilst my luck was in as well, I thought I would try some Vettian to see if I could get the skills of Vettian. Uh, this was the second kill that I did and I got absolutely destroyed by level 107, which is one less than the maximum level I can unlock. And I lost 1500 Aether, which is absolutely lovely because it sucks getting that back. But, you know, it, things happen in the wilderness. 
Massive shout out before we continue to way below for giving me a free bond. Uh, we haven't played for a few days and a massive thank you to him for helping me out. I didn't have any GP on the alt, so we might actually have to purchase membership soon. Uh, he's actually given me two by the looks of it. So we're going to send that redemption request. And <laughs> that's actually really kind, to be fair. I do uh, appreciate that very much. We're going to thank him a lot that's well kind um really do appreciate that if you are watching you probably are so we are back in action and i'm kind of feeling a little bit more rto i'm not gonna lie to you guys i really did enjoy it and i do want to give this a further test out so we're gonna give that a go uh i may start imbuing the zamorak cape so i can use it in the world uh but i'm not really too fast right now we've got ourselves the glory we're gonna get all our stuff out we're gonna wear the lucky unicorn mask and we are gonna go from there so let's go and kill a few more rto after that death earlier where we lost the Bagheera's Chain Mace effort, we are currently sitting on 18 bracelets. So what's that, like nearly 5,000 ether? So we don't really want to be dying again, uh, but we need to kind of keep up to date with getting that. So hopefully we can get a few more revs tasks. We do have one currently, but I'm going to kill RTO for a bit because I quite fancy doing that. Beautiful, a 1500 total world, and that is free as well. I've just realized I am on the normal spell book, and that is absolutely awful. So, <laughs> what a massive fail that is. I'm actually just going to try it on the normal spell book using entangles. Uh, I don't really have that many ice sacks left, and I don't really want to buy any runes right now. So, I'm going to do a couple of kills with this and see how I get on. And you know, it's nice when you can speed up the kills like this because I don't have a lot of time to play It's just a lot easier to not have to spend like seven minutes killing one boss when I know it's like a one in 500 So it does definitely motivate me a lot more to kind of get some more kills and hopefully get ourselves some nice drops The collection log slot completed that would be absolutely beautiful And we're gonna get ourselves some limp work roots and super restores So super restores are nice it means I can stay here for a little bit longer the entangles actually hit like five so it's all added deep Yes, to be honest i definitely think it's better using ancients but like i said it gets quite expensive or it can also um be quite difficult to buy all the runes all the time and i just can't really be bothered right now snapdragon seeds are a lovely drop as well super restores are always very handy for us to have pickaxe uh forgot all about those to be fair we're gonna keep some of the super restores in the bank now i've got way too many i actually messed up that kill quite a lot i actually needed to eat a couple of food you should not really need to eat food here but sometimes i suck charges um of ether i think we're gonna have to do a big video soon where i just kind of kill like i don't know like a thousand revs and just kind of go from there talking of revs have a look at this for a rev tab uh we've killed 767 demons on task we've got ourselves the four male emblem fan room scepter uh 36 bracelets an ancient totem we're actually quite close to green logging uh revs in just a short amount of kill count as well some people are probably pretty jealous of this but 2200 kills i only need an ancient crystal the 7.5 mil one i think that is and a crawls bro uh but for now we will continue carrying on the grind as usual i'm gonna call it there for the end of the episode guys uh we will be back again next friday probably maybe next saturday i'm not too sure but that's how we're going to end off the video. Don't forget to leave a like and subscribe to the channel if you haven't already. And like I said, I hope you all had a lovely Christmas and I hope you're enjoying some time off. So I will see you guys very soon with another episode. Thanks for watching and I'll see you all soon.